Hey everyone, it's Dr. Reynolds again from Mountain View Equine Hospital presenting our second case presentation on our Facebook Live videos. Um, today we have a pretty interesting case, um, a keratitis case, kind of a chronic intermittent problem that this horse has had. Um, and Dr. Reiners is going to do an exam on his eyes, um, make sure he doesn't have any ulcers, and then do a um, injection of steroids to help with his flare up. I'm gonna turn the camera around now and let Dr. Reiners kind of show you what he's gonna do. Just a second. This is Guinness. So the stain we use is a fluorescein stain. Um, any disruption in the outer layer of the eye um, will cause stain uptake, and you'll see it as kind of more of a green appearance. I'm gonna do the other eye, because he does have this problem in both eyes. extra help for keeping him quiet. So now that the stain has had a few seconds to sit, we're gonna just rinse it out that way we can see if there's any uptake. If there's any uptake on the surface, that won't get rinsed off by this. So Dr. Reiner is getting out his ophthalmoscope with a blue light on it. You want to tell him why you use the blue? If there was uptake, it glows. So now that we're confident there is no corneal abrasion or ulceration, we can go ahead with the injections. Dr. Reiners, what do you typically use for the injection? Paracane will kind of numb the eye and the conjunctiva where we're going to actually insert the needle. So it's just an eye drop, kind of same thing you get done at the eye doctor. This is Emily. She's our wonderful technician. 
She's also in the last video, but I apologize. I forgot to introduce her. That's on me. Dr. Reiners is just getting a few things together to finish up getting ready for this injection. So Guinness is a 10-year-old um, appendix gelding. Um, he was actually born here on the farm, um, had his career as a show horse, and now is kind of just retired back on the farm here. Um, he gets these uh, keratitis corneal inflammation flare-ups um, quite often. Um, and Dr. Reiners usually has to inject him, would you say, twice a year? Um, probably not that often. Okay, maybe not quite that often. Um, so I see we have a question. The procedure he's doing um, is a subpalpebral injection of the eye. Um, so he's pretty much just going to inject a steroid um, right into the lower lid, in a sense, um, and that'll help with this flare-up. You can kind of see, let's see if I can, with the light and his sedate state, if you can see the corneal inflammation. So the opacity or white cloudiness kind of right at the bottom of his eye that is what we're seeing. That's what we're calling keratitis or corneal inflammation. It kind of shows up as a white, cloudy film. Um, let's see if I can see it on the other eye. This one is much easier to see also with the light. So all of this in here is corneal inflammation or keratitis. So the steroid is an anti-inflammatory and will help with that. So if you are squeamish, you may want to look away, but trust me, he has been sedated and numbed, so this will not hurt him. And we are not going actually into the eyeball itself. We're going into, like I said, the subpalpebral area, pretty much the lower lid. You can do the upper lid, the lower lid. If you didn't hear it's more that. comfortable. If you weren't able to hear that, Dr. Reiner said you can do the upper lid. The lower lid is just easier and more comfortable. Doesn't even flinch, he's all blocked. So Dr. Reiners, how long will this take to take effect and to see improvement, do you think? Uh, about a week. A week, and then? Yeah, the steroid only. Okay. Wonderful. Yeah. All right. And then we'll, we'll just recheck him in about a week and just see how he's doing. But like I said, since he lives on the property, we see him every day. Now we're just gonna put him back in his stall and let him wake up from his little bit of sedation. Um, if you guys have any questions about this case, please feel free to comment below or let us know. Um, and we'd be happy to answer those questions. And we look forward to seeing you next time for our next case presentation. Thanks for joining us, have a good day.